Chair, Brendel Bearcat Journal here with Khalil Lewis. Khalil, you've been challenged. The coaches have pushed you a lot to step up and be that number one guy. The last two days, it seems like you're really kind of embracing that and, and making yourself, you know, a proven number one guy. Let's talk about that, that transition from being, you know, a, a, a two or a three receiver to being the number one. Talk about a slot? Being no, I mean just the, the, the main guy, the, the, the go-to guy. Um, I'm playing a different position this year, so yeah. it's different. You know what I'm saying? It's different challenges, different routes and stuff, different timing. You know, but my main motivation is coming out here. You know, this is my fourth camp, so I come out here and I try to get the young guys to show them, like, show them the ropes and show them how to practice. I try, like, try my hardest every day. Is it, what is that difference going from slot to, to outside? I mean, is, is a lot of it mental? Like you said, different routes, different responsibilities? It's just press, you know what I'm saying? Back to my sophomore year when I played outside. Then my junior year, I played the slot. I was just more, a little more versatile, just doing more things. And then they got me like, this you'll see. It's going to be a good time this year. <laughs> is, that, is that fun for you, moving around? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like the, I like the outside. You like the I outside, outside better? I love the outside. Well, oh, you love that, that corner route when you were in the slot. You have a favorite route on the outside? Ah, uh, stay tuned. That's all I can say. Stay tuned. <laughs> you'll see it. Um, take me through that young wide receiver group. You've got, you know, some some guys that are in their second, third years, yeah, and got, now you got a young group coming in and pushing them. Yeah, we got a, a ton of good, a good group of guys, you know. Jay Sean been making plays. We got Tyron Summers. We got Yanez gonna be a good player here. He's going Yanez Rogers is gonna be a good player. You gotta, you know, what I'm saying go through the get through the ropes. We got some, we got some uh, what's it called walk-ons. Why you know everybody working hard. Everybody putting the time in. I think we got a good group and. I'm trying to leave a good impression on it for my last year. Um, Javon Hall's good day today. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And the, the sophomores and the juniors, Tom, Ron, I don't want to miss nobody. All, the whole group is doing, everybody doing a good job. Everybody stepping up. Rashad. God, it's, it's a lot of people. It's a lot. <laughs> yeah, everybody working. Uh, Rollins is a guy that's had a lot of promise since he come, he, he's come in, trying to get that consistency worked out. It, are you starting to see that with him? It seems like the past couple of days he's starting to put together, you know, some more consistency and being able to get open a little bit yes, more. Ron always, you know what I'm saying, kept ahead now, keep his mouth closed, work hard. He's just finally coming together now. It's just, you know what I'm saying, he had to get in the rotation a little more and stuff, but he's always been a guy that can make plays. Coach Joker, it's your second year with him. What's that relationship like? What's he like as a wide receiver coach that's had head coaching experience? Uh, he's not a receiver coach. He's like an offensive coordinator. Like we learn with the O line guy. We learn what quarterback think about. Like it's not just receiver stuff. We learn. We learn more about coverages and how to get open. Like more with him. Like, he's a technician at this. Like he's been in it for a long time. You and Hayden have had a lot of time together. Yeah. Um, what's it? You know, the being outside, being kind of his deep guy. Have you guys talked about that that chemistry that you're working out there? Well, we just trying to get these reps in practice so it can turn over to the game. It's not really no talking about it. We just come to work and trying to get the timing down. And then with Des, it's a little different because he might scramble. Yeah, oh yeah, he like a little Lamar Jackson. He like to run around. <laughs> he still, he look downfield, but Hayden do the same. They both everybody do the same thing for us. Just it's gonna, that's a nice battle that's going on. I like both of them. They uh everybody working like I said. It's just it's a long camp. <laughs> Tell me about the the teams that you guys made in the summer. Um, what was that like in terms of getting to know other guys and maybe guys that you weren't familiar with and building a better bond across the team? Yeah, it was like I was with some D linemen I never talked to. I was like, you feel me? It made us like socialize more. We had to talk more. We was doing like challenges and stuff. We had to come put our brains together and work out with different groups. So, like it was like a nice team bonding thing. I, I really love it. I, I don't think people realize that. You know, there's 110 guys on a football team. Yeah. It, you don't get to know everybody all the time so that is something that's kind of necessary yeah, to get yeah, to know your that whole was team a great plan they put together i really that was nice yeah. how's how's year two in this staff how much more comfortable are you with everything the what they expect the what they want from you yeah well the first year was like blind blind faith you know what i'm saying just giving up giving them our hearts and following them but now we kind of we all on the same page we all know what's expected we know we got to come out here and work you know we got to put the time in and we just want to see the results now so fans should expect big things from number one outside this year? Number one in the whole team. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks. Appreciate it.